Well, people living and working near an unfinished apartment complex in Ogden have been waiting for a long time now to hear what is going to happen to this building. Yeah, it's been sitting for months ever since construction crews abandoned the project. And happening now, city officials in Ogden are holding a hearing to try to determine if the building should be torn down completely or if it was actually safer than previously thought. Paul Nelson live tonight in Ogden. So, Paul, what's happening there today? Well, the city actually told developers to do one of two things, either tear this building down or create a complete a long list of repairs in order to bring it back up to code. Now, the owners are actually appealing that decision today, and they're likely arguing that the city's building official got the code wrong. The process of deciding the fate of the now abandoned apartment complex on 25th Street in Ogden has been frustratingly long for some nearby business owners. I would sit and work at my bench and look at the mountains. Now I sit and work at my, my bench and look at an eyesore. Some owners say they would like to see the complex get finished, saying the foot traffic would be nice. But Carl Cox with Alaskan Gold Connection says he'd like to see something completely different. Parking lot. Parking's one of the biggest problems down here. And they and this this building, the plans for this building do not provide any parking at all for the residents there or for the business owners there. The city recommended two things. One, either the building be torn down, or two, the developers could complete a long list of repairs. In today's meeting, the property owners had a chance to appeal those recommendations. Ogden Deputy Director of Community and Economic Development Jared Johnson says the developers can argue that the city building official read the code wrong and that it's not as dangerous as the city believes. It gives them the opportunity to state where they feel that perhaps the building official was incorrect in the information that he utilized when he deemed it a dangerous building. But if the city's recommendation is upheld, the owners will have less than 15 days to decide what they're going to do with the project. Either uh, start demolition of the building or um, have plans that are acceptable to the city to go through and then start making the repairs. Now, we have previously reported that city officials believe that this wood was a problem, that it was a significant fire hazard. However, city officials also said that there were significant sloping issues inside the building and certain parts of it were not anchored properly. Reporting live, Paul Nelson, KUTV 2 News.